Good morning everyone and welcome back. So this morning I am drafting off those cull cows that I sorted out the other day. There's six in here so far so I've got another four to pull out but what an absolutely beautiful morning it is. A very crisp autumn morning though. It was absolutely freezing yesterday. This morning wasn't quite as bad but it was still pretty cold. There wasn't much of a wind or there's not much of a wind around which, which helps. But it is that time of the year. I think daylight saving is coming up this weekend. So that means our clocks go, I always got to think about this one, spring forward and you fall back. So they're going to go back, which means I get an hour sleep in, which is awesome. That must mean, there must be two out here in the yard, somewhere. Can't see any blue lines. I oh know, there must be two in this row, the one up the front and that one. Just noticed this one here, 114, I haven't taken her collar off yet or painted her, but she is on my list, so she can go, and that makes the tent. There's 55 and she can stay for another day. I should really just send her today too. I might text and see if I can send 11. Nah, I'll just leave her. I'll just leave her. That's all right. I do have my list, but I thought I'd better just write them down to make sure I, I do get the correct ones. 86, 158, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, I'm missing one number. That one, 216. One thing I did forget to do though was just check to make sure they all have their Nate tags. So these little white dots in the rear. You've all got yours. This is the older cows that sort of don't. They've got theirs. That one's got one. You've got one. You've got one. You've got one. Just this black cow here. You've got one too. They added this little section down here on the new forms that we have to send away with the cows. It's like their sort of passport. I think that's what you call it in the UK. And it says you've just got to click, um, put 10 animals uh, tagged and registered. So yes, 10 of them. Right, everything's filled in. That goes to the truck driver. These girls can just wait on the feed pad, but I can't let them go just yet. The last row is just standing by the trough there. They're not walking to their paddock, so I'll go give them a little bit of a hurry up. Come on then. Come on! Might just follow these down and Dad can let the, the cows go. They can wander down by themselves. How good is that? We've got a bluebird. Beautiful. It's nice and warm or it's warming up anyway. It's a little bit fresh still. They can just wait on here for the next couple of hours. Truck's coming at 11, although it could be 10.30. You know, what truck drivers are like, they're usually, usually early, so they can just stay here and then we'll just run them straight on and, and out of here. It's almost 11, so I thought I'd come and put these cows on the yard. But I was kind of hoping today I might get a phone call from Finches to say that they're going to come and drill that annual. I was speaking to Bills yesterday and he did say today so hopefully hopefully they do come. The only downside now since I've taken that post out is that there used to be a gate on there that I would shut across to that one so the cows couldn't come up and down here but 
We'll see how they go. I don't think it'll matter too much. Worst comes to worst, I'll just wait for the truck driver and he can give me a hand to, to whack him in the yard. Come on. Too easy! Just wanted to get them in there because I've just got to shoot into town, take the rav in there for its warrant. Dad's going to pick me up. I have left the docket just sitting here on the post, so if the truck does turn up, I'm not here, he can load them by himself. And he's good to go. There's the docket. But it's almost 11 now, so it shouldn't be too far away. I'll probably miss it. Well, that was good timing, I didn't even hear the truck come in, but the cows are gone, that's 10 less to milk tomorrow, it's 10 less to feed. I'm actually down a row too now, so I've only got to milk 11 tomorrow instead of 12, which is quite nice because it does save a little bit of time. Checking out the ramp because I put a bit of sand here yesterday, there was a bit of a hole that formed down there, sort of the rats had made sort of a, a burrow in there, or a nest, I think that's probably what it's called. You can see the sand spilled out the side, but I chucked some big rocks in there and it looks a lot better than, than what it was. Should pack down with a bit of rain and look pretty good. It almost looks a little bit loose, doesn't it? I had a phone call before saying that the drill is Heading back to the yard to fill up with some treated annual and then it's coming here to drill these. Might as well put these girls on the pad while I'm waiting. Did say three, it's a little bit after so surely he's not too far away. Perfect timing. Getting new neighbours, this house next to us is just sold. I need to catch the beekeepers when they come out because these hives really need to be moved. We'll just put them over there by that other hedge, but yeah, they need to come out of this paddock at some point. Not real urgent, but needs to be done. Got the Alan here today, and Lockie, not Jackie. Unlucky for Lockie, he was drilling permanent before this, so he's got to calibrate. Is this the annual, the treated annual here? Yeah, uh, yeah it's a mix. Yeah. This looks like the annual here, right? Yeah. Yeah, the treated stuff, the red stuff. I so, stuff so you can see the seed treatment, like it is a little bit red. It's not like what you'd get from a, if you bought your seed from Wrights and it's just coated in it, but it's good enough and it's cheap enough that it should work. Got the new track, this is the one that was on the horse last time, but check out the tyres on it. How expensive do you reckon a new set of them would be? Jeepers. 10 grand per tyre? Yeah, it yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be probably far off, I don't know. Darts Darcy. Far out, it's a big tyre. Although we're a country that uses metric these days, they call still call the drill spacings in inches, so in between that disc and that one is five inches. Which is pretty standard, you don't get four inch drills. Oh, I think there used to be an old one, do they call it a more drill? I think there used to be maybe four inches, but nowadays you just don't get them. Five meter drill, is it five or four meter drill? Five meter drill, 5,000. Won't take them long to do this, I think it's 1.4 hectares in here, and the other one's about the same. And he's off. New Zealand made drill that Allen made down in Canterbury or Ashburton I think to be more precise but 
does a real good job. Man, it's packed it pretty well. Sort of see some of the seed there sitting on top. Ollie's in the headland. I thought I'd come down and let these girls onto their break for this afternoon. Isn't that a cool sight though? I love seeing cows walking out onto green grass. Beautiful sight. Really isn't taking him long at all. He's pretty much finished this. He's just sort of crossing off a bit of a triangle sort of shape down here. There's only really just this little bit in here to go and then he's he's done so pretty quick. This could have probably been drilled about a week ago, it's sort of been ready for a while, but I've just been in the line waiting my turn. So I did get asked why we don't go and buy our own drill, and a drill like this one is probably a couple of hundred grand easy. Might be, yeah, might be over 200 grand probably. You need a pretty big tractor. We could go, go and get like a three meter drill and do it ourselves, but most of them are sort of time drills. I don't want a time drill, they make a little bit of a mess. They don't drill into maize stubble particularly well, I'm not saying they don't, I'm just saying particularly well, uh, whereas I think disc drills are the way to go, which this one is. To get like a 3 metre disc drill you'd be paying probably upwards of 30 to 40k, if you want a sort of good one you might be around the, I don't know, around the 80 mark maybe, which we probably could tow with our tractor. But it's just quite a big investment for the amount of stuff we do, so it's easy getting these guys in, they build the R&M into the, the, the cost of it, so if we had our own drill as well, we'd have to, you know, if something broke, we have to repair it, that's on us, whereas if these guys have something break, it, it's not, it's all built into the cost, like I was saying. So it is just, at the end of the day, easier to get them in. If we did probably twice the amount of cropping ground we do at the moment, sort of if we're in the, you know, if we maybe upwards of sort of 40 to 50 hectares, then maybe, yeah, maybe getting our own drill might be the way to go. But at the moment, it's just easier to get them in. Now all that's left is to drill these chicory paddocks out. That one's going into permanent because I don't want to touch that one again. It's just a little bit steep and wet, so I might want to put crop in there. The one up there, that's going to go into an annual. That'll go into chicory again next season. So the cows have just come off here, walking in over there. And they are on their last break. So going forward, they won't come, or they won't get another grazing out of this lot again. We're going to spray it out in about a week, but... Dad is off on holiday tomorrow for the next week, so once he gets back, we're gonna run the sprayer over it, kill it, and then we can get in there in about a week later. So yeah, what's that? That'll be sort of mid-April that we sort of get new grass in there. Just kind of hoping it doesn't get too wet in between now and then because I'd sort of like to get the bottom of this paddock sort of put in new grass where they couldn't get the chicory where it was too wet in the spring. So hopefully it's sort of dry enough that we can, and that'll tidy that up. I'm actually debating at the moment whether I pull that bit of hedge in. There's like a little as bit of hedge down the bottom there and the drain goes behind it, but I'm just debating whether I pull that out at the moment, <sighs> which I would like to. I rang Mace up yesterday and actually booked the digger in. I said, if you're going past, can you just swing by? We've only got sort of like a couple of hours work, maybe half a day, but there's just a few little things that we need to tidy up and yeah, we had to get the digger in to do it. You'll find out a little bit more why I want to tidy that up or why I want to pull that hedge out in another video. I won't say more than that though. But that'll pretty much wrap it up for this video guys. So like always, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and see you next time.